guys good morning today I'm going to do a review and on and an installation on this two-in-one camera a camera which has a river sensor in it my car is a Toyota wish 2006 so the car is has a backup camera but don't have a river sensor so other than drilling the bumper I think this is the good option for me to go with so I have this one this model right here not the other one this model right here so let's open the box see what's inside okay so what you have is a six meter uh, length cable AB cable if you can see now this AB cable is very special you see there's a red wires coming in at the end of the each wire so what is what what this does is actually this one will tap to your reverse lamp positive terminal and the the other one wires will tap to your reverse trigger at your head unit screen so this is will ease you other than finding those using those probe to check where which which one is the reverse trigger this will assist you from the back to the behind just grab this cable through and that's it all right so this is the um, the AB cable the 6 meter AB cable which is very good and very important so yeah the camera is here so it's the camera itself so let me just remove this plastic so you can see it clearly so this is the camera the camera unit on the left and the reverse unit on the right so this is the mounting pad it says 7 degree it has a bunch of mounting pad here let me show you um, you see this is this is 5 degree and 3 degree so depending on which car which situation your car needs you can check interchange this uh, mount mount angle okay so uh, four pieces of screw and this is the camera power power cable and also the reverse buzzer okay so for this installation uh, my installation today the installation will be a bit tricky because I want the camera this camera to be operated um, always on standby means as soon I turn the car into ACC position or accessory position this camera should be on and then without it without means it it will be on without even I am put the car into reverse now the problem with that installation it works for every camera unit but not this one because why it come with a buzzer now this, this buzzer will ring as soon as the camera is turning on so what I'm going to do I will keep this buzzer and it will function as normal but I'm going to add another electronic component which is the relay the good the good pieces of electronic equipment found by a German scientist this is very good this is a 5 pin relay um, so I just use four of that pin so this is to the positive and negative of the reverse light uh, the reverse lamp so whenever the reverse lamp is triggered the relay is powered all right and then it will the input wire will be then be bridge okay so whenever I do reverse I do reverse my car then this wire together would be connected right so that's how it does okay so whenever this one is connected then the buzzer will be rang okay so that's how we do for today's installation it's a bit tricky but it do the jobs okay so I will show you in a moment after we install it in the car this is my Toyota Wish car so this is the camera the existing one is a Fujitsu camera you see this the camera lens even cloudy because of its it's what we call the the 
the UV has been eaten it the lens so that's what happened okay so let's just open this trunk and you'll see the cable is actually on the left side running from here to here which means we need to rewire it from the left side right so that's how we do remember on every installation figure out the wiring harness first then the device itself then you it will be easier for you to do the installation as you can see we already stripped the car now this is the old camera system you see right so we're gonna route the wire through here went to here and then to here and then we just cross over to the point on the left the left side through there through here and to the to the dashboard and to the head unit we're gonna route two wire one is the power wire one is the AV cable just both of them I will show you in a moment after this as I show you this is the buzzer all right so this is the relay so this is the relay pit I mean the relay power source to the reverse reverse lamp all right so this is the buzzer so this is from the camera so the camera will produce a beep signal each time but this buzzer wouldn't sound until the relay is triggered so that's why this one is important okay one is wired like this already and we good I wanna tell the most fun part of today is to route the cable to here you see this is my uh, cable drive or cable fish whatever you call man that's the hardest part some people say use lubricate using uh, just dish wash or whatever it's very true man it's always sticking here but i managed to do it with a dish wash now hopefully the installation went well i will do the back end first then to the front end which it's connected hell yeah let's continue now the problem with this built-in camera as you can see here it's not a screw here see there's no screw so now the only thing to do is to remove this this one the Toyota Wish drill okay so it's just a bunch of uh, 10 millimeter you need to take off four of them in fact so after that then you can remove the factory Fujitsu camera now there's a problem with this installation as you can see here this cable so a cable sleeve is too thick to get through the holes so what I'm going to do I just do a scrap with the pen blade and see if it goes through this time sorry for the camera is a bit shaky and there you go just a bit shake hopefully it went well I'm not sure why they want to do it but now it's good the camera is in so let's continue with the installation all right now the camera is in see I able to route the cable through the pie wall and then as you can see over here I put the the grill back okay for your info whenever you do this tightening of this unit the grill unit make sure you just snuggle don't over tighten it it will break the the steel uh, the steel chrome, the chrome garnish because it's not real steel it's just made of PBA, uh, ABS plastic so make sure you not over tighten else it will be crack okay let's continue it's done just tap the connector like this it prevent it from disconnected and also be rusty because of water also for the power I did the same after that we just snuggle uh, we just tie it all with tapes and it become one unit and easy for you to, the, to do the cable management okay so let's just continue so now the, this is the relay I have tapped the relay power 
and also the reverse positive to the AV cable that I show you earlier so this is it is look like this this is a bit messy because I am lack of clips and tools so for the time being this is how it's it's done so now let's just put, put back the reverse bulb and then we close this one now the relay is cable tied to the harness and it would like look like factory by the time of this point if things doesn't work i'm pretty much fuck up okay so hopefully it will work just as we plan i managed to route the wire of this uh, camera directly to the front of the dash like i always think this av cable the six meter av cable will not enough for cars such as such as mpv because the length through it through the route uh, routed it through the trunk back of the trunk and this and other stuff will take a lot of a lot of a lot of cables so what i did is i extend the length you see here is the joint is the joint of the cable i extend using an, uh, an another wire and then tap it together it's very messy but uh, it hopefully hopefully it will work so the the other cable is the power to the camera which is connected to the accessory power on this car so hopefully after this everything goes smooth i will open this dash so now this is the part where it connect to the multimedia receiver the jvc unit so as you can see this is the cable the video av cable as i uh, i show you earlier so you see now this reverse trigger is connect to the reverse input of this head unit okay and then the av the camera power you see now i connect to the x accessory which is the red wire of this head unit so i just uh, tap it through okay you see and then for the ground of the camera unit you see this reverse this is actually sorry not reverse this is parking brake uh, cable which is i bypass for this head unit in order to able to view the video even when the car is on the move so because it's already connected to the negative terminal i just tap through here as you can see very nicely tap and then that's it so hopefully after i tie this cable up things just work as what we uh, plan oh it's the moment of truth let's see first for the all just see if the camera is power on yeah alhamdulillah it's on you see now i'm not in the reverse but the camera telling me uh, things okay so let's see just home let's see if the reverse trigger work see yep that's it how's that so this installation um, is good so we're going to close all the the things that we open I'm going to shut down the engine first and we'll continue you can see in the middle of the afternoon it's done it's tidily seat securely firm and then let's get into the car to test the function right so okay car is starting up now you can see Okay, so now see I'm in the park and see now, when I go to all then I'll select camera yeah you see the camera is alive see I'm not even in the reverse and what you notice the beep beep sound of the sensor is disabled now but once I reverse I trigger the gear to reverse you hear the sound because now the relay is working it triggers the relay okay so that's how it works okay 
It's a bit messy, but see how clean it is. The assembly is. Look at that. This is real time traffic. Very cool. Uh huh. See. Now everything is done. Guys, please subscribe to my channel. My channel is the subscription is free and it's benefit for a lot of uh, accessory installer, uh, in electronic enthusiasts and musician uh, for choosing speakers and car accessory. All right. See you on the next video. Till then, stay well. Goodbye.